Mike Pence wrapping up a day-long visit to Michigan with a rally in Holland tonight. Channel 7, the only Detroit TV station, along for the ride as he toured the west side of our state. Our Brian Abel is at the rally, joins us live. So, Brian, you were invited on the bus for a one-on-one -on -one interview. What did the vice president tell you? Yeah, Dave, Glenda, uh, excuse me, Carolyn, quite a whirlwind of a day that's just wrapped up here. This Keep America Great rally. People are heading to the exits right now, but I did get a chance on his way from Portage to Holland to get on the bus, talk one on one with the vice president. We talked everything from impeachment to his views on Michigan for 2020 and our crumbling roads. Is this accurate? It's not accurate. The vice president responding to whether the Intel Committee report that implicated him as either knowing or participating in pressuring the president of Ukraine was accurate. The interview on the vice president's tour bus after his arrival at Kalamazoo International Airport in Portage, the motorcade stopping at a Portage church where he talked with faith leaders before making his way on the bus to Holland. I asked the vice president about Michigan's role in 2020. Well, Brian, as you know, Midterm elections are always a challenge for the party that's in the White House. And voter turnout is different in those years. But in 2020, just like 2016, President Donald Trump is going to be on the ballot. And, and this time, we're not just going to have his vision for a more secure America, a more prosperous America. We're going to have the results. I also asked the vice president about federal help for fixing the roads. Congress is spending their time on endless investigations and a partisan impeachment. A highway bill is languishing on Capitol Hill. And back at the rally now, the vice president no longer speaking, so now I can use my outdoor voice. He is on his way to Grand Rapids to head back to D.C. But if you want to see more of our one-on-one -on -one interview, check online, WXYZ.com, and we'll have more of it tonight on 7 Action News at 11. For now, reporting live in Holland, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Brian, thank you for the live report. Family and